This is part of a video series helping you configure your new Firebox X Edge the first day it's in your network. I'm Tim Helming. The Firebox X Edge wireless device is exceptionally easy to set up. Let's begin with the Edge's wireless wizard. The easy to follow wizard walks you through the configuration process. From your Edge's navigation bar, select Wizards and then click the icon next to Configuring the Wireless Network Interface of your Edge. Early in the process, the wizard prompts you for a network name. This is actually a Service Set Identifier, or SSID. Wireless access points typically broadcast this identifier to any other wireless devices within range. If you don't want your wireless segment to be a target, choose an SSID that does not identify your organization to outsiders. After you've entered your SSID, you can choose your security level. Choose high security if you want a private wireless network. This setting encrypts your wireless traffic using the WPA algorithm, and it stops your edge from broadcasting its SSID. You're practically invisible. But if you want to run a wireless network open to guests, the no security setting works best. Because we recommend the high security setting, the rest of this video assumes that's what you chose. The next screen asks you to choose a passphrase. Since your wireless connections are encrypted, any client that wants to connect and see decrypted traffic must enter this phrase. That might tempt you to make a short, simple phrase, but don't. Short passwords can be cracked. Longer is stronger. Most clients only need to enter this passphrase once during configuration, so use at least 14 characters. And anyway, it's not that hard to type a memorable passphrase such as, show me the money. On the next screen, you choose whether you want your wireless network on the optional or trusted interface of the edge. Which interface you choose depends upon how you plan to use your wireless segment. If you make your wireless network trusted, wireless users have the same access to your network as wired employees. This setting is appropriate if your wireless network is accessible only from inside your office, for example in conference rooms. If you don't want wireless users to have the same access as trusted users, put your wireless network on the optional interface. Whichever you choose, the Edge will apply the settings you configured under Network Trusted or Network Optional. If you haven't configured those yet, watch our Day 1 Network Settings video for tips. The last window simply shows that you're done. Congrats! Your wireless network is up, and it's even secure. However, the Edge has a few wireless tricks up its sleeve that offer even more protection. Stay tuned. One of my favorite wireless Edge features is the ability to restrict wireless access based on a computer's MAC address. This ensures that even if a bad guy somehow figures out your wireless network passphrase and tries to connect, your Edge still won't let him in because his wireless device doesn't have an allowed MAC address. This option is easy to configure. From your Edge's navigation bar, select Network Wireless 802.11g and click on the Allowed Address tab. Here, you can enable the hardware address restriction and add the MAC address of each computer or device which should be allowed to access the wireless network. Make sure to click Submit to save these settings. This manual configuration might be too time-consuming if you have a large network, but if you have a small network, restricting MAC addresses is a great way to lock down your wireless segment. This next tip works if you have installed WatchGuard's mobile user VPN client on the computers of your wireless users. Firebox X Edge can force your users to authenticate using WatchGuard's encrypted MUVPN before they can access your wireless network. This adds another layer of defense and is one more way of frustrating wireless eavesdroppers. It means your wireless traffic is being encrypted twice, once with WPA, once for MUVPN, so it can slow down traffic. But it's very secure, so in some situations, the slight performance degradation is worth it for the double security. To enable this feature, from the navigation bar, expand network. Click Wireless 802.11g. Go to the Security tab, then enable the checkbox labeled Require Encrypted MUVPN Connections for Wireless Clients. Click Submit to save your change. Now that you've worked your way through the wireless wizard and added a couple of tweaks, your wireless network is well organized and double protected. You've gotten rid of the wires, but not the security. See? Life is better on the edge.